Convolution layers are the fundamental building block of convolutional neural networks and the underlying operation is convolution. So we will try to understand about convolution in this lesson with the help of uh, one of the fundamental and easy to understand examples in computer vision literature and that's called edge de detection. So let's see what is edge detection. So edge detection uh, detects sudden changes or discontinuities and in the image. So let's say this is the input image and here we have the edges extracted from this. So here you will see that there is some change while going from this to this sudden change in intensity and similarly here. So this edge tries to highlight those discontinuities and there are different re regions for these edges. We will not go into that details. For example, let's say we have a cylindrical object like this and there is something written on top of it. So I'm just uh, giving one uh, intuition of what are the different regions of edges and let's say some light is coming from this direction and there is some shadow for this like this. Now you notice uh, different types of edges here. One is this. You will see this edge, this in white. So this is due to surface normal discontinuity. So on this surface the normal is in this direction and on this surface immediately this normal is coming out of this image. So there is a sudden discontinuity. Here you will see that there is a uh, discontinuity in intensity of color. So there is something written which is in some different color maybe dark color and this is light color. So here it's due to color discontinuity and this edge you notice that this uh, is present due to maybe surface depth discontinuity. So after that there is a discontinuity in depth and this uh, is due to the shadow of the image and this, these edges are due to illumination discontinuity. So there can be multiple regions of uh, these edges but we are not going into the details of that. So here uh, uh, this is clearly showing the edges. So we will start with simpler examples. So first let's see what is convolution then we will uh, create develop our own uh, vertical edge detector horizontal ed edge detector and then we will see how these parameters can be learned using convolutional neural networks so that we can uh, create a very custom or very robust edge detector. So first let's see convolution and this is a filter this we will call filter. So in convolution we have an, one image so this is a very small image you can see it's 6 cross 6 but in real uh, examples this, these images will be very large uh, maybe more than 1024 cross 1024 and also multiple color channels. Here it's just one color channel so you can think of it as a grayscale image and this is the filter which is much smaller in size and uh, this remains constant irrespective of the size of the image. These are also sometimes called kernel. So in this particular case this uh, will be able to detect vertical edges uh, and uh, why is that? So you see that first let's see what is convolution. So this may be confusing this symbol is also used for multiplication in python element wise but here we will denote it convolution. And in fact in mathematics convolution is not exactly element wise multiplication and addition but it's uh, you have to uh, rotate it and then do the multiplication but in this case it is not uh, for our purpose this simply doing element wise multiplication will suffice. So here what how we will do multiplication uh, convolution is that you overlap this 3 cross 3 filter on top of the image starting from the top left. So this assume that this filter is lying on top of this and then do element wise multiplication and then add everything. So 5 cross 1 is 5 then 0 then minus 1 so minus 10 then basically you add these 3 subtract these 3 and the middle one you multiply with 0 so they don't come into the picture. 
so let's add these 5 4 9 1 10 so 10 minus 19 7 26 so it's minus 16 so these 9 multiplication lead to this one output similarly in order to calculate this value you will now shift this this one so now this filter is here again add these three subtract these three so you will get 6 minus uh, it's uh, 21 uh, it's 17 7 24 so 24 16 6 minus 24 is minus 18 and you can do similarly calculate this and this and for this one you will shift it one cell down and then again do the same thing multiply these three subtract these three in fact this uh, convolution means simply multiply everything and add them but here these are minus one all these are plus one all in the middle we have zero so this should be able to detect vertical edges and why this is so let's see uh, in a smaller example in a more simpler example so let's say we have this image where this left part is completely bright so in typical uh, RGB uh, a grayscale image you will have values from 0 to 255 for 8 bits here let's say we are using less bits and 10 denotes brighter region 0 denotes darker regions so if you multiply these you will get something like this so again uh, just to emphasize it's a very small image 6 cross 6 so here you get something like this so in the middle we have higher values so this is brighter on the outer part we have darker regions so this is a edge so here 2 pixel is looking very thick because this result is 4 cross 4 so if you take 2 cross 2 this is roughly 50% of the thickness but imagine the result uh, let's say the input was 1024 cross 1024 and we convolve with same 3 cross 3 then in that case the result will be 1022 cross 1022 so in that 1022 cross 1022 this 2 pixel will not look thick it will rather look very thin so uh, this way it's able to detect that and simply you can uh, get an intuition that what this filter is doing it's multiplying so let's say there is some sudden change at this region so it, there is a high value here there is a low value here so when this filter is overlapped here what will be the result it will add these high values and subtract these low values so difference will be a very high value so this central pixel in the output will be a high value similarly when this is shifted below it by one level and two level and so on this will be able to again capture high values here or if this side is low value this side is high then this will be a negative high value so you can take the absolute value so it will be able to detect the vertical edges so that's the intuition and you can clearly see here it, there is a sudden change here this side is bright region this side dark region and it's able to detect that so if uh, these are the this is the filter for detecting vertical edges you can guess what should be the filter for detecting horizontal edges and again uh, this in this case high was on this side and low on this side but if it's reverse these values will become minus 30 and you can take the absolute value so again you can get one edge here so now let's look at horizontal edges so we have just rotated it by 90 degree and we get this filter so if there is a region where there is a sudden change let's say there are high values here and low values here so when this filter is here it will add these values so these are plus one these are minus one central one is zero so it will add these values so it will become very high value and then subtract these values which are low, low values so difference will be high if the regions are let's say similar values let's say 200 201 200 and here we have 198 196 these are pixel values and uh, middle does not care so let's 199 204 
197 so if region is something like this so when you overlap it with this the difference will be very low you see that the sum of these three and these three there is not much difference but let's say these are 200 plus and these are just let's say 10 20 30 so these will be very dark these will be very bright and indeed if you see the difference it it it's 601 and here it's uh, 60 so you get a difference of 540 so this is able to detect the horizontal edges so this is uh, just one filter that we had seen but uh, in the literature there are many many other filters for the same purpose and here we are talking about vertical case but again if you uh, rotate them by 90 degrees you will get a horizontal edge detection filter so this we had seen so there are some other uh, filters that uh, researchers have tried and this is one of them so put 1 2 1 instead of 1 1 1 and then minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 so just giving some more uh, importance to the central pixel so this is called Sowell filter similarly this looks very similar here also we are uh, giving a higher weight to the central pixel but here we have 3 10 3 and minus 3 minus 10 minus 3 so this is called SAR filter so these were some of the hand coded features these are not learnt these are hand coded and uh, used in different contexts but we can use uh, our convolutional neural network to learn these filter parameters so this is again filter and let's say this is one image and we are doing convolution with this and getting the result the result should have the edges highlighted so let's say we have these nine values w1 w2 w3 so instead of hand coding them we will let we will initialize them with some value and let the neural network learn those parameters with the help of back propagation so remember that this calculation is made for calculating this value we overlap these nine values here and then do element by uh, multiplication and add them so let's say these are image pixels let's call it i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and what is this value this value is uh, w1 i1 plus w2 i2 all the way up to w9 i9 so this is that value similarly this value will be this region so w will remain constant these weights so you may think that we are taking weighted sum of these nine values so implicitly you can think that these nine values are connected to this if you have uh, studied the simple neural network feed forward like this we have different neurons in different layers and these are connected to different nodes and some of these edges will get higher weight some of them will get lower weight so in this case you can think of the same these nine are connected to this and the, for the other pixels there is an edge but you can think that those edge weights are zero those are not impacting this pixel in the output so we can learn these weights these uh, filter parameters are nothing but but the weights that we learn while doing back propagation even in this kind of image so uh, some we can learn some custom filter and it may be something like this it may be like 0 0.7 0 0.2 0 0.4 a negative negative point four. so you can think of some custom filter this will be learned by the network itself and if it's trained on a good number of images you can imagine that these weights should be much more robust that than uh, what we can hand engineer so uh, we will uh, study more about this convolution we will look at some uh, variations of con convolution where we in this case we had not added padding so you see that the image size was getting shrunk it was 6 cross 6 here and the result is 4 cross 4 and this filter size is f cross f so in general uh, let's uh, we overlap it once then twice three times four times if we 
shift it further this filter will go out of this that's why this size is 4 so it's uh, this image size minus filter size plus 1 uh, so in next uh, lesson we will see about a concept called padding so be be beforehand pad this image so that after doing this convolution the result remains of the same size and then we will also have different version of convolution where we can take different stride so here this shifting thing so first we calculate this and then shift it so this is called a stride and in this case we were taking a stride of one in both uh, right, right and bottom direction so we can have different strides also so these are different uh, variations of convolution that we will see and then we will be ready with the fundamental building block for convolution layer of convolutional neural networks